All right, so in our last video, we used Node to read from the file system, and we talked a little bit about requiring packages. Uh, today, we're going to get to it and build our first HTTP service, uh, so our first little website with Node. Uh, and this is going to be really basic, but as we go on with the series, we're going to get more and more uh, in depth with some of these web technologies. I also have a series on Nodecast about Express and Happy, which are both uh, Node.js web frameworks. So if you're really itching for that kind of stuff, why don't you jump in there? But in the meantime, we're just gonna use uh, the built-in Node HTTP module. If we go to the docs and check them, we should see down here this HTTP. And just like with FS, there's like a ton of different stuff it can do. So we're just going to really stick to the basics for today. Um, I still have this file here, index.js, that we were using in the last video to do the read file. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete all of that. And I also have this index.txt that we were using. Um, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll leave that for right now. Um, all right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do, just like before, is we're going to want to require the HTTP module. So const HTTP equals require HTTP. And um, just like before, we don't actually have to go out and fetch and download anything because this is part of like the standard node library. So you can just go ahead and require it. Um, cool. So <clears throat> now that we have that, we want to go ahead and uh, I guess let's start here. Let's, let's start kind of at what will be the end. Um, so we want to do const, and a lot of people call this like server or app, something like that, equals HTTP, and it has a function called create server. And create server is going to need to take uh, some type of handler. So that's going to be something that we don't have right now. Um, but we'll build that in a second. Uh, the other thing is that server is going to need to listen on a port. Um, and so we can set server to listen on uh, like 8080 uh, and then there's a callback function which a lot of people just use to do something like console log server is listening at HP colon colon local host 8080 uh, cool so let's kind of talk about this first I'm gonna go ahead and run it make sure that I'm doing okay node on index.js um, cool handler is not defined great okay so there's a couple of things going on here uh, on line one is just what we've dealt with before requiring something from the standard library um, one thing that you might this kind of depends on where your background is if your background is something like PHP uh, this is going to be very different to you so node apps uh, or PHP apps I guess use um, this kind of style where you have like Apache installed and Apache is listening on a certain folder, right? And anything you put in that folder, Apache can serve to the file system. Uh, with Node, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more like Ruby, uh, where you're basically, you're picking a port and you're binding a service to the port. Uh, so you could have like a Node app that binds a bunch of different stuff to a bunch of different ports. Uh, I guess it's a little bit lower level than maybe you're used to. Um, with something like PHP. So we have this server listening on, and this could be any port that's open. So it could be 1337 or, you know, anything that's open. Uh, those are kind of common ones. Um, cool. And so, and then um, basically this handler is a function that's going to get called when you hit this port. So we can code a little bit more and then I'll probably take another step back and kind of explain what's going on. Uh, so we'll make this function handler and it's going to have two things. It's going to have the request and it's going to have a response object. Um, and so basically, uh, if we wanted to do, I guess, like a really simple one, we could do response.end and then we could do hello world. Let's kind of check something like that out. So we'll go back here and run node on it. It says server is listening at localhost 8080. Uh, I go ahead and I open this up and it says hello world. Okay, great. So. Um, Basically what's going on here is we're creating a server and all requests go to this handler. Uh, if we were building a more robust application, we'd have like a, a router, right, with different routes like uh, user or forum or, you know, ton of different about us paths, things like that. But right now we're only going to have this one route, this one handler. And it takes this request object, so if I console log the request object. Uh, one thing here, if you're brand new to Node, and this is especially tricky if you've been doing JavaScript, is that you still have access to all these nice things, right, like console log. But you just got to keep in mind that 
if you're writing node code like this backend code console log is actually going to log to your terminal back here um, and as you're writing more complex apps that have front end and back end code all JavaScript uh, it's just important to keep in mind that you know client side JavaScript still console logs to your browser but node server side JavaScript console logs to the terminal so we can go ahead and console log that request object I'm going to control C to cancel the server and start it back up again and then I'm just going to refresh on this page. And just like before, it shows hello world, except this time it dumped a bunch of really good stuff for us. So we can kind of see like, um, I mean, this is huge, but we can kind of see what's coming in, right? So this request comes in. Um, it's got, let's see. Let's see if we can find some kind of useful stuff here. It's got like a bunch of metadata, a bunch of stuff about sockets. And I mean, this is really low level, like, uh, HTTP messages, server responses, all this kind of stuff. Um, let's see if we can find something a little bit more useful. I think there's like a just a dot URL on it somewhere. Um, all right, I'm just gonna back out of here. I'm gonna control C again. I believe there is one that's just called uh, request.url. So I'm gonna restart up this server and I'm gonna refresh on this page. Here we go. Okay, so you can see that uh, you know two requests get triggered. Um, one is for the root directory, so you're like forward slash URL, and then this one is actually going to get triggered by the browser, which is going to be looking for a fav icon, uh, which I don't have. But either way, they both you can see right now, uh, no matter what path you go to, like so, if we now go to slash foo, we'll see slash foo here. Um, so every single route, every single path is ending up inside this handler. And this handler uh, can see what route it is based on the request URL. So if we were going to take the HTTP client uh, and we were going to build out like a robust application about it, this is probably where we'd start. You could do something like you could do a switch case on it uh, and start routing it to different files or whatever. Thankfully, there's a ton of higher level apps and abstractions that do that for us. Um, but just kind of wanted to give you something to, to look at there. So yeah, this is our very basic example. Um, we have a server with one request handler and then it listens on a certain point port uh, when you visit that port it does whatever is in the handler so i hope that makes some sense we're gonna do a lot more web stuff in future videos i just kind of wanted to show how to make a very basic node.js web client